Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. Now in this video, we will be learning how do I actually use the class name or the CSS class name as a locator for my HTML element. So now, why do we actually sometimes need to use CSS class name? It, it sometimes happens that we have, you know, missed mentioning the name or an ID attribute. Also, there may be chances that we are having the duplicacy of IDs and name. In such cases, we need to move to the CSS to use them. So say this is my input, this is my button which is having the classes as btn, search btn and submit. In, the, in this particular example, I can use the CSS as dot search button. This dot search button should be able to uniquely identify my button in the entire HTML DOM and would give me this button and I can perform actions like say clicking onto this button. Now let's quickly go to our screens and see how this uh, CSS class name works. So guys, uh, welcome back again. Now we would be seeing in this particular video how we actually are able to, you know, identify or locate an element using a very simple class name, right? So before I, you know, go ahead and, you know, uh, use WebDriver to explain it, I would first like to demonstrate like you know how we can actually identify a class name so here's I have opened up my Firefox uh, I open up the website that is rulespoint.com onto this website uh, I want to find the class name for say this particular search button right now as you know like we have already discussed in the locator by ID and by name that you know we can simply uh, use the inspect element of uh, the by default debugging tool or the fire bug or can also use selenium id you know to find out or to understand about the dom structure so what is here in this one is we are having a button and we have a class the the class is search button so if this class is uniquely able to identify or is uniquely able to find a particular element onto my page then it would actually load up that element and I can then perform operations or actions onto that particular element right so now like this was a very simple example let me try and you know find out the what I call yes the class name for this particular element so here's what I have now. Now I'm trying to find out using the inspect element. So this is an input box and this is the class that has been applied, right? So uh, form controls and the search. So I can use any of them to actually find this particular search box onto my tutorials point website's homepage, right? So this is very simple quite similar to the one that we have done previously so now let's quickly open our Eclipse and see the working of uh, class name and locators right so I've already created a project uh, which is named as locator by class name demo uh, in this project like I have included all my libraries all the selenium jars are already there and I'm also having the Geekho driver that I would be using right onto the default package I am actually creating a new class and I am naming this class as class name demo I also want that the main function should be present so I click this one and I click on finish so here's what I've got I have got a main function lined up for me and I'm just writing down some comments to identify what I would be doing here. Identifying an element using class name. Now, what what, what would be the very first step? Yes, as we have you know done it previously. Also, the very first step would be the setting of property now what property is to be said the property is webdriver dot geeko dot driver here 
I am passing the name of the web driver and I am calling it as Geekho driver. So this is done by me. Now after this I would actually make the object of the web driver on these lines. Yes. So now our task was to actually identify the element using yes the class name so now let us quickly open up the tutorials.com landing page on this page if you remember we were supposed to actually find a the search the search bar or where you know you are typing what you want to search so this is my web element I name it as a search box element equal to driver dot find element now here I am passing by observe clear carefully that here I am mentioning the class name that I want to pass right so since you know remembering class name is a bit difficult so I would just roll back over there copy this particular class name and paste it in the box over here after this in this particular element I would just pass a clear and would send the keys it would be selenium tutorials So not much to be done, just simply you know creating a new object of the web driver, passing the uh, URL which is supposed to be opened up, getting the object of the uh, web element using and identifying the element by the class name and then quickly you know clearing the entire sequence and then typing in the search box that is Selenium tutorial. So now what you will do is we will quickly run the application and see how it performs so it opens the tutorials.com page see it has automatically typed up selenium tutorial over here so I hope now you have got yes like we can identify the element based on an ID or name now in the upcoming videos you would be seeing how do we actually identify element using the link text uh, the partial link text and the x path thank you all for tuning in guys